Hello students, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will be studying how to pass or how to use the list as an argument to a function and how to use a list inside a function and what happens when a list is modified or when the changes are not reflected in the original list. So the first scenario is that when you pass a list as an argument to a function, the original list does not change. Okay, that is the second scenario. The first scenario will be the original list changes. Okay, so what can be a situation when uh, the uh, original list that is passed in as an argument changes? So here is a very simple program. It consists of a simple function named increase and I have passed list one as an argument here and it contains a single statement. And this statement is modifying the first element of the list and adding five value to it okay so we have learned in the first video for lists that lists are mutable so this statement is completely valid okay and now what are the contents of the list the list has uh, three elements one two three and when i this is outside the function so when i first uh, print the value of list one it gives me one two three and then i call the list uh, call the increase function with the argument as list one and inside the function this particular statement gets executed now when this statement gets executed the first element which was initially one gets changed to six so after calling the function when the function returns to the next and the last statement which is the print statement the updated value of the list is six comma two comma three now this was the first scenario when we pass a list to the function as an argument and the value of the list changes. But the second scenario can be when the original list that is passed to the function does not change. So when does that happen? This situation will happen when you create a local copy of the list within the function. So I hope you remember the concept of local scope and global scope. So whenever you create a variable or uh, you define anything within a function then that uh, variable has a scope only within the function that means as soon as the function ends that particular variable will not be accessible outside and if a variable already exists with the same name as the local variable which you have defined inside the function then in that function the global variable which was defined outside the function gets hidden and only the local variable defined inside the function holds and is valid there. Okay, so I'll just uh, quickly recap this using the example. So we have used a similar example. Uh, this is a function def increase. In this case, uh, it has two statements. Initially, it contains an argument list one but inside it the function is creating a local variable with the same name known as the list one so this is a local variable of the function and it is assigning some value to this local variable list one now when we print this list this particular value will be linked to the local variable and not to the global list which was passed here okay so uh, you have to keep in mind that although list one was declared outside the function and this list was passed here in uh, passed sorry uh, although uh, this list one was passed as an argument to the increase function but this particular list, its contents 1, 2, 3 were never used in this function because the function itself created a new local variable that made the outside list hidden inside the function. Okay, Since a local variable with the same name exists, so this particular list 1 will not be used and therefore when you print after the function when you print list one the original value is retained because as i explained this local list will terminate as soon as the function ends and outside this function only this particular list is existing okay 
So you need to keep in mind the concept of local and global variables. You can refer to the video that I have linked here if you want to revise that concept. So just make sure that if inside a function, a new list is being created with the same name uh, as the name that was passed as an argument, then the argument uh, will not be changed okay so the list remains unchanged so these are the two scenarios that can be possible when passing the list as an argument to a function i hope you understand both the concepts thank you for watching in case you have any doubt you can refer and tell us in the comment section below uh, till we meet in the next video my dear exam